What's good y'all, it's your boy Nasty Pons and today I'm with a special tutorial video on how to upgrade your characters and which characters you will be upgrading. Now this is not a which character is the best for each position. First of all, if you believe in that logic, you've already messed yourself up hugely in this game. It's, it's not about who's the best character, it's about, you know, building a proper team. So. You guys are going to be seeing me talk about it from a center's point of view, but it's, it's the exact same thing for power forwards, point guards, shooting guards, and small forwards, okay? So let's start off with the centers. So the first time you first download the game and you go through the tutorial, you got the option of playing Hank as a center. So, and Hank is a 550 rating center. Now, obviously, that's not going to last you like too long in this game. So the moment you get Hank, you know, you play him a little bit just to test out your, your position. And then after that, immediately what you want to do is just, you, you want to jump to like a, a, a Wilson or, or, or a Keza. I don't know how to pronounce her name. These cost coins, so now you, you're good to go. At least, you know, at least you can play a little bit longer with 150 rating centers versus a 50. And then you play and then you play. And then the game gives you a 400 um, contract shard very quickly in this game. What you want to do when you get that 400 contract co uh, shard is pick between any of these three players. You could pick Taylor. You could pick, pick Max. You could pick Hayes. Now, here's what I'm going to say, right? At this point, at 300 rating, it does not matter which character you choose. I'm telling you right now, it does not matter. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be versing sweats and all and wallets who have already gotten 400 rating characters or 500 rating characters. But don't worry. They've probably already messed up because they haven't seen this video. But yeah, get your 300 rating character and play them for as long as you can before you realize, <clears throat> you know what? These characters are getting stale. Now, when you jump to your 400 rating character, do not pick any 400 rating character. I do not know how many times I got to repeat that, but make sure you do not just randomly pick any 400 rating character. You know, like how I said in the 300 ratings, you could pick whichever one you wanted in the 400 rating. Do not pick any character you want. They have to be sufficient. To your whole entire team and your whole entire team <clears throat> is backed by the 500 rating characters so you're like palms what are you talking about okay so we already know that 500 ratings are the best characters in the game that's the characters that you're gonna end up playing at the end right so just imagine if i'm waiting for raven okay so let's say i'm getting raven and I buy him and I get him. When it comes to the fate part, if you notice certain characters you need in order to unlock box contact, rebound contact, and you can see that I've already started. So I know I gotta wait for Emily next. I know who this character is because I played the Taiwan version, but I know I want Raven. So that's why I chose 400 rating um, uh, Johnson. Because I know once I upgrade his um his uh evolve, that's gonna be a benefit to when I get Raven. So when I get Raven at five hundred, I have my Johnson who's already gonna be at S rank, and then after that, I'm obviously I'm gonna have to start working on uh Emily when she comes, and and then but with all this being said, now my Raven. Is um you know getting all these additional stats because from my 400 rating character I've already already been working on him. Now let's say you did not um do follow this logic. Let's say if you went with Minjun, Minjun. Now you might say Minjun is like the best 400 rating character. He's the best 400 rating character. Well, guess what? You just wasted absolutely all your time because. He might be the best 400 rating character, but he's not the best center because the best centers are at 500 rating. So if you wasted your time getting Min Jun and you upgraded him and you put all your time into him and you, you know, you upgrade, 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 
Now, when you go to Raven now, or if you if you go to a character that does not need uh Minjun, you just absolutely wasted your time. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about. And I don't think any centers right now require Minjun. Let's see. Uh Nova. See, he he requires cyborg. So if you wanted um, you know, if you wanted Nova, then you would have had to be upgrading um cyborg. Maybe uh let's see, Falco maybe. Look at that. Falco doesn't need... So, you see, I'm telling you guys, this game is actually very smart. The developers are smart. They know how to get you guys with this. Who's the best player type things? No, the best players are just at 500 rating. Just leave it like that. Don't say who's the best 300 rating character. Don't say who's the best 400 rating character. No. Build as a team. When it comes to the 300 rating characters, obviously, pick whoever you want. You know, it doesn't matter. Taylor, Max, Hayes, um, Taylor, Lorsha, Max, you know, um, you know, Eric, uh, sorry, Arthur, Kai, Jessica, you know, so on and so on and so on. Just pick whoever the 300 rating characters are. But once it starts to get to the 400 rating characters, you have to be smart. Do not just choose any 400 rating characters. And the reason why this game is dishing out 500 rating characters slower is because they want you to mess up. Unfortunately, that's the harsh truth. They want you to go buy that Min Jun because he's the best 400 rating character out. And there's hardly any 500 rating characters. So, so yeah, go buy Min Jun. And then you go buy Min Jun, you upgrade him, you put in all your time. Now they release Raven, who's way much better than Min Jun. But guess what? You just wasted your time on Min Jun because now you can't even help out Raven's fate. And Raven's fate, he requires Johnson and, and Emily, you know, in order to upgrade his his stats, I mean, upgrade his fate. So you technically just wasted time trying to work on Minjun. You feel me? So and, and also the thing with Minjun is, or the thing with four hundred rating characters, is that their fate requires you to get other four hundred rating characters. So, so you just technically wasted all your contact shards, all your you know, all your time because you're trying to upgrade Minjun. And then when it comes to a 500 rating character, no, not one of the 500 rating characters centers that are out right now require Minjin. So you just wasted your time. You feel me? So make sure you guys be wise with how you pick your 400 rating characters. You know, have a blast with the 50, the 150, and the 300. Have a blast. Choose, choose whoever one you want. You know, play, play on them. You know, test them out. Whatever. All You can do that all day. But once, it's to, once you start to get to the 400 rating characters, guys, please, please, please take note on will they affect your 500 rating characters. If they don't affect your 500 rating characters, do not choose them. If they do, then work on them. Now, look, out of these three 400 rating characters, everybody's going to say, like, Johnson is the worst. Johnson is the worst center because his passive is if he runs to the ball, he gets it. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't even matter what the passive passes are, yo. If you get all uh, hooked up on the passives, you know, you can mess yourself up, especially at 400 rating characters. That stuff does not matter at 400 rating characters. At 400 rating, you just want to be able to upgrade their evolve. That's the only thing that matters. 400 ratings are not characters you want to be staying on. They're just to help develop your 500 rating character. So I probably won't even get Johnson's passive, bro. I would just continue working on his evolve and getting that to S rank. So that way, when I get Raven, you know, I I I would already have Johnson at S instead of D. You know, see, I I will get him at S, and boom. So that's the end of the video, guys. Make sure you guys choose your characters wisely. I'm here to help you guys, man. So with all that being said. It's been your boy Nasty Ponce. And remember, y'all, stay nasty. Peace.